The former president of the United Nations Human Rights Council and guest speaker Martins Uhomwevi and pioneer students of the institution Adolfos Agugu and Mike Onolememe said that education remains the best poverty eradication program for the society. Uh, he had a vision. Uh, he was very well educated, indeed a professor of morbid anatomy. He was not a politician in the sense in which we now know politics. He understood what was meant by a call to service. And so he crossed over from morbid anatomy into politics in Edo State and occupying the number one position in that state. And within the short time that he was there, he left such a fundamental legacy as the Ambrose Ali University, as it is today called. This was because I think that Professor Ali was not interested in amassing things just for himself. He was thinking about the future of Edo, the future of ESA, and the future of Nigeria by focusing on the youth who were in desperate need for education. Education is the greatest tool that you can have against poverty, ignorance, disease, and all kinds of negativities that occur in the world and destabilize our society. The point that you would truly agree that education is the best poverty ratification program ever known to man. And Professor Ambrose Ali knew that. And that was why he came with the policy, he came up with the policy of free education, free medical treatment, gave for employment, you know? These are very germane programs that our country and many states lack today. They called on leaders to emulate selfless service of Professor Ambrose Ali to provide quality education for the people. Most of the virtues that our founding father of that university left for the generation after him. Virtue of service, selflessness, virtue of contentment, virtue that governance is for the people. The association called on all alumni from the institution, whether as Bender State University, Edo State University, or the current name, to identify with the union. Ogie Ihimekme, EIT News, Abuja.